Of your mother ages ago, away. Yeah. Are we recording? Recording, yeah. Okay. Yeah, carry on. Just get. Just get me. No, you stand. So we're starting, right? So good. Yeah, standing. Feet together. Toes tend to part your heels. Lovely. Okay, let's get connection. Your body and mind. Can we do this? Can we just maybe just concentrate? Concentrate, yeah, relax. Scan through your body, find your hands. Bend some, close your eyes and look, just feel the body and hold. Okay, open your eyes and look, easy. <laughs> find your way in between both feet, face and forward, knees to let's move to last. Spine nice, extend the chest open. Let's shorten your neck, so imagine you've got a crown on our head. Lengthening, lengthening. You're keeping your knees soft. Keep your weight equally between both feet. There we go. Can we breathe in and out and articulate into our spine? Okay, we're flying. But it's not, yeah, it's not necessary your biggest breath, just normal size. With the inhale and you're feeling a lovely stretch in the body. And then the exhale, we're pushing or something. Imagine you're pushing something away. Open the shoulder blades. Yeah, your tailbone going in, out, in, out. Spine lengthening, flexing, very nice. Good. Let's go side bend. Yeah, so that direction again. We're trying to keep weight equally between both feet as we do it. And then your pelvis is not moving. You just upper body from your rest bone. Inhale, exhale. So you're breathing and you're bending. You're bending. You're not just moving our arms. Okay. And then relax our arms. Let's find our rest bone and we're going to rotate it side to side. Yes, good. Right, so the sound to get warmer so we can generate <coughs> the fast, a bit bigger movements. As we do in it again, we're feeling the air coming into our lungs, chest nicely opened. Smile on your face, energy boosting in your body. Yes. Cool. I never was cold at night, so I won't scream. There we go. One, two, three, four. Roll into our feet, feeling them soft as well. Okay, be aware, find the toes, both of your feet, heels, and the knees. Small movements, nice small movements, hips, very good. Reaching up a bit taller. Okay, and then stop. And then just pull the muscles nice out, weight on your heels, inhale, exhale, the back of the eyes, always connecting with the ears, feeling the back muscles working, holding the weight on your heels, very good. Your arms could be just naturally weighing in, don't worry about your arms, just keep your chest open, and keep your chin in, very good, well done, just stop for a moment, let's get a couple of times, a little bit faster this time, I want you to get warmer. Yeah, so go fly, 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 fly. Really not so forget about any like this breath at the moment, just get warm. Side back. Very well, stand here. Just feel the energy coming. Excellent. Yes, yes, yes. Three more more. So we'll be ready for nice muscles. Just remember exercise. Excellent. And again, that's a nice exercise. Again, just open your chest before you start the adaptation. Lengthen through your spine. Feel the chest open and then from the middle, creating a bigger moment. Very good. Yes, that's really good. And we go for eight or so, so maybe even for ten. Yes, yeah, so just look at the feet. Spine again, focus on reach the ladder. Pick something. Also feel it. Oh, you're super stuck. Go. Now we're going to have squat. And this time, four muscles slightly, slightly in front of another, but it's just half inch, don't 
go like this. Okay, half inch, hip width apart. So you wait equally between both feet, right? And you, you wait on your heels, and then you carefully go down, and then actually you lift in yourself. When you lift yourself up, yeah, you feel the same. You feel both legs working equally, both arm cheeks working equally to pick you up. Okay, but be Okay, so we've done five or six of those. How many we did, sir? Six. Six. Then we exchange with the feet. So again, it's not a big difference. Right? Half the inch. Okay? Again, weight. Top weight. Strong back. Okay? Back nicely expanded. So we're starting now. Three minutes. So we can reach the line. Here we go. Right? Show you the line. Okay, I think it's about five, but same, so relax our feet. So, yeah, you say you're not going to do that. Now you're not going to do lunges. So, so what I give, I give you balance exercises instead, okay? Yeah, so what you can do, you can do circles, you can do leg, okay? Alternatively, you can do sway, any of those, because we do lunges, all right? Everybody else, we do lunges, okay? We get the bar, a roller, now come. The biggest step in making with your right legs are better. But the thing is, both feet should face forward, both knees face forward. And then we are weight equally between both feet. Lift your back heel, direct it to the wall behind you, so not inward. Then pull your weight slightly more on your back leg. Then can you turn me up? Okay, your chest and your shoulders in alignment. Check if that knee working. And you go down, and then you press through the front heel. So back knee, front heel. Back knee, front heel. So I press the knee forward. Imagine you slide down the wall. Right? From here. Yeah, and I'm kind of sliding down the wall. Yeah, you're doing amazing. So we go for 10. At least 8. Okay? Make sure your knee is facing directly forward. Change the legs. Left leg forward, right leg behind. Before you go do your lunges, see what you're going to do. Right, both legs extend. The one is going to be nice to up. Back to your legs. Okay, again, check if it's working. Imagine the wall behind us. Very nice and slowly. Go down and then press your front heel. Well done. Well done. Don't let your back heel to go down at the floor. You've got eight or ten of those. Okay. There you go. Right. Lengthening. 
As you breathe in out, you drop out chin down, draw the shoulders forward, bring the roll in front of us. Keep looking in your belly button. Is your knees soft? Come all the way down to the floor. Keep your eyes on your belly button so your neck is not contracted. It's relaxed. Hands on the roll and taking the breath in and out. Breath very gently, no forces. Try to extend the knees a little bit. Then bend your knees again as you breathe in. As you breathe out, grab the roll and then roll. Okay? Grab the roll and then roll. I'm missing. So I'm not able to do that. So we are here this. Yeah, the roll is through the spine, which is very good. So when you go down, it's your head, shoulders, you go there. When you build it up, you start from the bottom, bicycle chain, right? You see, I build and build and build and build that spine. Okay? So you go, and you're always keeping your eyes on your belly button. Okay? Just go down, place the roll on the floor, place your head on top of the roll, and keep looking at your tummy, take your breath in, on out to breath in, we push your bottom up. Okay? And then bring the knees as you bring them in, and then grab the roll and you go from the bottom. Roll the middle back, keep, keep, keep rolling up. Yeah, chest lift, shoulders back and down, we're building our neck. Well done. Very nice, okay? Yeah, let's go one more time so we can have a look at my arm. Yeah, so we're in the and then we're going to get the shoulders nice and heavy, eyes and knees on the neck, head completely down, completely down, and then just pull it over that. And then we're going to take a breath in and out to breath in, pull your head over that. And then we exhale, we have a bend in the knees again, and then we uh, and roll and let's go ahead and let's go. Very nice, well done. Well done, fantastic, right? Last one. We inhale as we get ready. We exhale, we roll it down, and then as we down, we just roll the roller forward. And yeah, dropping our knees down, push the roller towards you, drop your knees. Place your hands on top of the roller, lower arm, forearms on top of the roller, palms facing each other. Very good, we're getting warm up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay? No, not all of it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I didn't know that was that. Oh my gosh. Right, right. Right, so we're going to, yeah, so we're doing this one. So if you want to, you can keep your bottom on your heel, that's fine. Yeah, if that feels nice. And you roll forward back, right, stretching your arms, stretching your shoulders gently, forearms on the floor, everything very gentle, okay, very, very relaxed. It's no forehead to do the floor, yeah, just place your forehead close to the floor, so you can feel nice, long spine, with no push, no forces, well done. And then you can hook your toes down and send your tailbone to the ceiling, and you may tilt in your pelvis, left, right, so you can stretch those muscles on the back, right, those QL muscles. Nicely, gently again. Everything very gentle. No, you won't wait till no woman up for big stretches. It's just nice movement. Okay? Now you're taking the breath in and out to breath. We're sitting up. We're sitting up. Well done. Good job. And we are placing the roller that way. Okay? Placing the. That's fine. You can lie on it. That's all right. Yeah, you can lie on it. That's fine. So we're seated. Yeah, newbies. Well, as I said, you can use that one. That's not a to lie down. There's the whole body going down on the roll. So we breathe and then lengthen through the spine. As we breathe out, you with hands on the floor, everybody else hands extended, and we need to breathe our way to breathe nice and slowly, placing ourselves down. One way to breathe the time. Okay? Very good. Out to breath and on the floor. So what? And on the roll. When you lie on your roll, what do you Okay, yeah, that's fine. So then, yeah, so you find the most important. So you need to move forward, back up here. 
So what I want you to press your feet a bit closer to the door. Let it be a little bit thicker for the moment. That's fine. Okay, open your eyes. I want to go to the other side. I want to go to your eyes. And you need to fall down on one side and you try to push up. And then you fall on the other side and you try to push up again. Okay, just that's to cheat your brain. That's exercise. That's exercise. Hold it still. Tell your brain there is no danger here. Even I'm falling on the floor. That's not a big deal. It's only four inches. Another bit there. That's it. So you do rock, 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 and then you come back to the center, and you can relax. Our arms on the side for a moment. Taking a nice deep breath in and out. The breath is relaxed for the roller. Make sure your neck is nice and long. Your shoulders away from the ears. Your ribs are flat. And now, please place your feet together. Together. Then open your toes out. Ten to two. Okay. And then part your heels out as well, so your heels behind your toes. And now look at your knees, and your knees should be parallel to each other. Place it forward, and you go in line. Feet, knees, and hips, all in the line. Okay? Now let's make that with our fingers. Back with the fingers. Place your toes on top of the back. Place your fingers right under our bottoms. Shoulders relaxed. You can just flatten your ribs. Glue your chest, yeah, your ribcage to the ruler. And what we need to do, just tilt into our pelvis. Breathe the breathing. So we inhale, we're rolling on our tailbone, extending the spine. We're breathing out, we're sending the tailbone gently to the ceiling. Carry on. So what you need to consider, your chest, your ribcage, stay quiet. You're not taking it with you. So the movement only from your lower back. Your feet remain light as well. Yeah, it should be like you're not pushing through your feet, especially when you're sending your tailbone to the ceiling. Yeah, your feet absolutely love light on the floor. Knees keep facing forward. Let's do your right. Whether you need to do this together or drop down on the side. So you're totally aware of what's going on in your body. All right? And you're breathing. Inhale, rolling on your tailbone, feeling a nice extension on your spine. And then as you breathe out, under your fingertips, you find the contraction of your abdomen. And we pour this up as we breathe it out and send your tailbone to the ceiling. Everybody found it? Yeah? Good. Well done. So now we stop. We're going to walk our feet, yeah, place our hands on the floor. Walk our fingertips forward. So now, new this. What I want you to do, when I ask everybody to lift one leg on the tabletop, you're not lifting one leg on the tabletop. New this, you're going to just lift your left heel of the floor and remain your left Leg on your left toes, okay? Yeah, for now, just place it down. Yeah, so everybody move your fingers forward, extend your arms, lift your arms level of your hips a little bit higher, hip bones, well done. Take your breath and roll on your tailboard, and then as you breathe out, lift your head, neck, and shoulders. Lift, 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 lift your head, neck, and shoulders, well done. Inhale again, make sure you're still on your tailbone, and then lift your left leg on the tabletop, or just raise your left heel. Okay, we stand here and we go inhale two, three, four, five, exhale two, three, four, five, in through your nose, three, four, five, out through your mouth, three, four, five, breathing in for five pulses, breathing out for five pulses. If you really feel this too much for your neck and shoulders, you can place your head down. Inhale two, three, four, five, exhale two, place your toes on the floor, okay? Yeah, keep saying that's fine. Keep your toes on the floor. Very good, well done. Just relax. Hands down on the floor, head on the roller, foot down. Right, and just turn your head from the left to the right. Yeah, everybody's alright, everybody stayed on the roller, well done. Well done, hopefully you're there as well. I don't know about Sylvia, are you here? Hopefully you're on the roller, babe. <laughs> okay? Right, so we're trying another leg. That will be more challenging because this will be going to lift your right leg. Okay, so you see, if you're really wobbly, and you can't do full sitting and working on your abdominals, then you can place your toes on the floor. Okay, so we're ready. Walking fingertips forward, extending out, lifting up, energizing through your arms, really nice and energetic. Yeah, totally extend the belly, and like the shoulders, then roll on the tailbone, lift your right leg on the tabletop. When you're ready, inhale for five pulses, exhale for five pulses. 
You can basically get about this five courses, shallow breast in, slower breast out as well, works as well. And what's the main solution? What's the connection? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then what is this feeling of those? Again, it's too much for your neck, head, and shoulders. Keep them down, keep them down, and just work on your other ones. Now go. Getting your knee, uh, your leg into your chest, so your head is heavy. You're making a hammock with your hands, and your hand is heavy. Your elbow is slightly yeah, lifted and peripheral view. So that's not going to alternate, right? Chin, chest, that stays the same. So when you breathe out, and I ask you to lift your head, neck, and shoulders, it means you are sliding those rib cage, and it's very small movement. You see, and then you relax. Shall we do this? Okay, so we go. Inhale, roll on your tailbone. Exhale through your mouth, feel the engagement, then lift a little bit. And then as you breathe in, you relax. Have a little break. Just think about what you're going to do. Again, little moment again. As you start to breathe out, don't lift yourself straight away. First thing is you're breathing out. Second, you found core connection, and then you use it to lift yourself. Okay? So let's go. Exhale. Well done. Inhale down. Okay? So that... Core muscles that very small muscles, so you need to start to engage the fast as with the arms of rest, and then you can start to feel the sensation, okay? Yeah? So, what we're talking about makes sense? Alright, let's just do one more time, and then you can do the rest a little bit harder, okay? Yeah, so now what we're going to do, we can watch that side, and then you go, if you know what to do, we can go straight away. Right, so we inhale, rolling on the tailbone. We exhale, we yeah, start to breathe out, lift it. Finish the outer breath, take a shallow breath in, rolling on your tailbone and lift yourself a bit higher. And then you relax as you breathe out. Okay? Here we go again. Breathe in and inhale, rolling on your tailbone. Start to breathe out. Feel engagement, lift it. Finish the outer breath. Inner breath, lift yourself higher. And then relax. Okay? So I have two more times. Inhale to prepare, exhale to find the engagement and lift it. Then inhale, roll on your elbow, lift a bit more, and exhale, lie down. One more time. Inhale to prepare, exhale to find the core first, and then use it, and then lift yourself. Then lift yourself a bit higher. Very good. Okay? Now, put the ball on. Okay, that's enough. Now, well done. Okay, let's extend your right arm forward. We're pulling off the roller on your right side. Chest, pelvis, all of you. Push. Well done. Take the roller away. Just give yourself a moment lying on the floor, feeling your back. Okay? Yeah, just enjoy it. You know what? Did I kill you? Um, okay? Something wrong with my model. Need a new one? <laughs> no. Ah, oh, yes. She's leaving me next week. Who wants to be my model next week, John? <laughs> <laughs> I nominate. Right. Yeah, yeah. Some, some will nominate you. Right. I want you guys now, in your own way, or in class, where you can see her, right? right? So you know each other. You can do legs on the tabletop. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders, roll on your lower back, and then proceed to the sitting up position. Well done. Or you can just roll all the way from the floor, or you can help yourself naturally. Yeah? Okay. Right. New base. Yeah, you're doing amazing, but you can do a little bit better. So if, you, if we are yeah, getting into the rolling up, whatever we can use our core, whatever you put effort on, what you do in your mouth is closed. 
sorry. Yeah? You do it this way. Okay? Great. Right, so we massage on the bottom and the back. Right, sit on it, please, madam. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yeah? Roll it over the sitting bones. You want me to play that? Huh? No, it doesn't matter which way. It's which way you want. Maybe you just want to say hello to that people as well. Yeah, I'll do that in a minute. You go crown. Right, and then we roll it over the lower back. Okay? Just take your time, place your hands behind and nice and gently roll it over the lower back. Okay? Well, you can't miss on it. You completely can miss on it, but it's good for you. Trust me. <laughs> just enjoy it. Do what you can do. Yeah, if something feels wrong, don't do it. The same, the same for you guys, yeah? If something feels too challenging, you don't want to do it, you absolutely fine. Just watch us struggling for a moment. <laughs> but this is really pleasant time, okay? So I will miss on this one. When I ask you to lift your legs over your head, that's what I'm normally where you're missing. Okay, so let's just stop for a moment. Just relax here. Take your breath in and out. Okay? Now I want you to sit a little bit taller. So your weight on the roller, not on your wrist, not on your hands, and your tailbone that side sitting bones on this side and then you imagine the clock in front of you and you turn your knees to 11 o'clock disconnecting the right side and then you're bending extending the knees and you're rolling over the right that, that joint there next to your spine over that joint enjoying yourself knees together feet together knees bend yeah and go lower back now that, that area okay and then we stop we still lean yeah, you still lean into the left side, extending the left leg, your bottom leg, and be tilting the pelvis left side. One, two, well done, well done, everybody. Three, four. Stay a little bit tilted that way. Take a break, breathe. Ah, well done. Okay, so feet together, knees together again. So now we're moving forward. So your roller going up. When you roll it bypass your hip joints, so above your hip joints, then you're lying on your left forearm, okay? And you're in this area, where's your hip? There, oh. And where you're massaging, so you're going bend and extend the knees and creating the roller going up and down around this area. Oh, here. If you can see, sir, I can that show you that. Right, so that's your roller, you're here. I'm rolling forward back, okay? Then we stop. Then you stop and then you are extending your lower leg, which is your left one, and then you tilt it side to side. But if it feels too painful, nasty, you're trying to make it really small, avoid the pain, find the area when it feels good. But if it doesn't feel bad, feel nice, you can pin yourself and go really nice and deep. Well done. And then relax for a moment. Yeah, just relax now. That's it. Very good. Let me repeat on the nice side, okay, guys? Just nice and carefully, don't pull anything. Take your time. Mm -hmm. Sitting up again now, she said hello to you. Nice, how <laughs> nice enough. Okay? Yeah, so you're sitting on the roll again. You sit it nice and tall. Tailbone this way, sitting bones this way. Hands, fingers, tips supporting you. Now imagine the clock. And I'm confused now. One o'clock. One o'clock. Left side disconnected. Go forward back again. Again, so it's the left side really adjoined. You can go a bit braver, that's all good. You can go all the way big moments, right? But as the spine is supported by bones here, you can go and massage it all. It's quite good for you. A lot of connections, a lot of joints, a lot of muscles connected to that joint. Yeah, and it's nice massage. Oh, well done. And then we stop for a moment, extending your right leg, tilting side to side. Okay, everybody okay? Don, you manage it? Yes, yeah, it's a bit hurting. Yeah. Okay. Good, well done. Again, just relax for a moment. Excellent. And then we're going, again, we're going down. So your roller going up. When your hip joints, you see they on your on that side of the roller. Then you lie on your right forearm, okay? And then you go again, bend and extend the knees, find the right area to massage. Right area means no pain. Mm -hmm. Okay. I did it. <laughs> okay, I know you have it all everywhere. 
Okay? Yeah, so we try not to push through any pain, through any tight tissue. Well, and then we extend in the bottom like if we're doing a tilt. Again, it depends how does it feel. You can go really big, you can go all the way to the front of your hip bone and all the way back to your coccyx. Or you can do a nice small movement. You can pin yourself with all your weight in there. Or you can support your weight with your leg and your arm and don't go too deep. And then we relax again. Fabulous. And then we drop off the roller. We keep seated, but now we massage in the back straight away, okay? So we go very quickly through the old massages so we can stretch our body nicely. So let's place the roller, bottom edge of the shoulder blades, bottom edge of your shoulder blades, okay? Under the bottom edge of your shoulder. If you bend your knees so you feel nice and comfortable, support with your feet, okay? So, and I want you to support your head straight away. Well done. Good. Right, and then when we're supporting our head, let's place it in the hammock, right? I want you to curl in through your ribs, don't pull your neck, right? and make sure the bottom edge of your shoulder blades on the roller, not in the middle, so you can check it by bumping, bottom edge against the roller, nice. So from here, you're nicely curling through your ribs, you're using your feet, yeah, to press and lift your bottom slightly up, and we're making a small roll forward back, so, yeah. That's what you're doing on the roller. So bottom edge on the shoulder blades, that's what you're massaging. Well done. So forward back, excellent, doing very well. Okay, and then we seat it again. We seat it again, we need to have this bottom edge of the shoulder blades on top of the roller. Now we're gonna fix your lower back. We're gonna send your tailbone to the ceiling. We're gonna send your belly button and waistline to the floor. So we're flattening the lower back. We curl it through your ribs, so you have a nice, yeah, pressure against the roller. We're pressing our feet against the floor so you feel nice and heavy against the roller. And we're tilting your body side to side, massaging between two shoulder blades nice and deep. Yeah, you can go like this. Close your elbows, open the shoulder blades, and get yourself right inside. Enjoying it. Yeah, the deeper you go, the better. Getting all the stress away, opening your chest, giving you better breathing, giving you better, stronger, I don't know, feeling in your body, we're ready to get it. And the last one, so. Lovely. So now we're going slightly down. It's like half inch moving slightly down, and the roller going up, and the slow between top and the bottom edges of your shoulder blades, middle area. Again, we curl your leg fast through your ribs, we push it through our feet to lift the bottom slightly up, and we roll it forward back like a steam roller. Well done. Just roll it, bottom yeah, in the middle, in the middle area. Small movement, very good. Yeah, small movement, just tiny, one inch, two inches movement, forward back, back. Just like it. That's it, yeah, roll it forward back. Okay, then we stop again, somewhere in the middle, sitting down. Again, we're fixing the lower back, we're only working on upper back. So tailbone to the ceiling, belly button, waistline to the floor. Pressing through our feet, find the pressure against the roller with your back. Curling in, open the shoulder blades, close your elbows, and peel yourself into the roller as you tilt from side to side. Well done. Keep your pelvis heavy, baby. Yes, Okay. Hold on. Okay. We're all doing amazing. Looking at you all. Just the last. Take a break. Wait. Feel the feminine bone on the feet. And then the next thing is to make sure the shoulder blades are relaxing you. And then very carefully slide it out. And just stop when you feel your roller between two top tips of your shoulder blades. Don't bypass them. Okay? So you stop when you feel those top tips. Now on top of the roller. And then you do exactly the same. You're curling in and then you're moving backwards away from them and forwards towards them. So we're not bypassing the top tips of your shoulder blades. Right? You're just going to back them away from them. Forward back. Forward back. Forward back. Forward back. Excellent. Yes, very nice. Yes, nice, gently. Okay, and then we keep rolling, keep rolling, and then you see, uh, when you see the shoulder blades on top of the roller, when you find them there, then you sit down again. 
Sit down again. Now most of your back is flat on the floor. So you kind of glue it all to the floor. You curl yourself in through your ribs. You open your shoulder blades, close your elbows. Use your feet nicely to create pressure against the roller. And really go and massage between two top tips of your shoulder blades. Nicely, deeply. Curl in. You're curled in. And you actually can draw infinity sign yeah, with your back. That's like my side. One by one. That's where you draw in. Yeah? That's where you draw in. On your back. And then relax. Why not? Right, let's stop. Just relax. Now we're making a big moment. So stay where you are, guys. Make sure there's nothing behind you. Okay? It's not obstacles. Right, so from here, yeah, I want you to lift your bottom slightly up, curl in, and then press through your feet and go all the way down, back, 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 back until you sit up again. Well done. One. Yeah, and then we adjust the roll and do three more times the same moment. So we're sliding down, we find the top tips of the shoulder blades, we line against the roller, right, and we go all the way. Well done, well done. Perfect. So natural. Right, so again, all the way. I'm coming back, away, away. <laughs> so you sit up a bit, sit in, sit in. Right, no, no, that's not going to work. Thank you. So back, okay? Oh, so back. Right, so we need to do it Yeah, so from there, you support your back, that's fine. And you push it back. And then sit. That's it, that's it, that's it. Okay, then work. Okay, just relax here. 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 Just two months now. Yeah, so you roll up without any roller, all the way on the floor, lifting yourself up and stretching. Can you demonstrate for me, babe? Uh, no? It's not quite there. Can I just start that? Yeah. Do dorsiflex. I'm oh, I'm stop here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if you can't get up, yeah, if you can't get down all the way, that's absolutely fine. You can challenge yourself. But then, yeah, if you can't get down without, without pushing yourself, so you see that what's going on? That's what we're doing. So when you're bypassing that point, you're still breathing out, you're pushing your tailbone that way, heel that way, and you're just chin down and you're stretching that area. So we're not stretching lower back, okay? Yeah. Right, so if you're not sure about your ability to lift yourself from the floor, place your roller, maybe just a little bit above your waistline, and just go to this level, okay? So make sure you're breathing properly. I want to see open lips when we're making an effort, okay? Before you go, just practice. See and go and feel the connection to your core. New base, okay? So from this moment, yeah, she's breathing out through her mouth, engaging the core, and that helps her. Not, yeah, that's wrong. That's what we do at the beginners, okay? Yeah, well done, that's enough, don't go anymore. That's right, that's right. Very good, very good, breathe in. And then chin down. Yeah, Okay. Okay. 
Easier. So before we go, let's bring, place the roller between your feet and your knees. Taking the breath in. On oh, out breath, we're all going down nicely on the floor. Okay? Take yourself just like you did rolling up, rolling down. Slowly, wait to break by wait to break. Make sure your head is on the floor, not, not, I mean, your head is on your back, not on the floor. It's quite cold floor. But, and let's push the roller. Actually, let's stay there. Just do one more massage. Yeah, there's two hamstrings. Let's push the roller to the bottom, right next to your bottom. Place your hands under your lower back. Okay, and very quick, we will massage our hamstrings. Let's stand Lower back support is your hands. We totally relax. Slow your knees out, hold your legs out. Slow your knees in, bring your legs together. Don't bend your knees, just keep your knees extended. Lower back. Yeah, hold the legs. Yeah, hold the legs. It's not too far. Extending the knees, and the roller goes. <coughs> <coughs> 
Okay, then we stop, then we stop. Right, so what I'm going to do now, turn your both knees to the right side, do the same, press the legs against the roller and bend and extend the knees. Very good. Yes, keep going, keep going. Matthew, keep going. Bend and extend them. Don't fall asleep here, please. <laughs> so both knees on one side, there, and then bend and extend them, okay? Right, and then we turn in your both knees to the other side. And again, we bend and extend them. One, two, Three, four, well done. And turn your knees up to the ceiling. Stop working through your knees. Give me four times, sweeping your feet outwards, four times inwards. Try to make a really big movement. Big movement through your arm cross, feeling your toes, nice and pointed. Right, so you really feel a little more power on your ankle joint. And then flex and point your toes. The ballerinas and challenge jumping so far. Pointing, flexing, pointing, flexing, then we can relax your feet, and rocking our knees again, and then we're going to turn to all the way to the right, and then all the way to the left, and let's do it four times, four times, yes, yeah? so now your knees, turn in one side, and one side, that's it, that's it, okay, rocking side to side, 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 <laughs> then we stop. <laughs> okay. so, so now nice and careful, you can sit up. Do you weigh if you want to? Or you can roll up from the floor, or you can lift your legs on the tabletop, grab the back of the sides. Any way is good, just sit up. Well done. Yeah. How much you want to challenge yourself is up to you. Now we rinse it. So we place the roller next to our ankles. Sit a little bit hinging forward to start with. Okay, knees making the letter X with your legs. And then you push forward, open the knees, go back. So you're working through your knees in and out. Yeah, and you're massaging that. Yeah, you shake the calves here. Well done, well done, you Yes, half back. Yeah, not an ankle joint, but ankle, not an ankle joint, but, uh, right? And then we stop, well done, and push the roller up there, mm. up there, sit on it, right, enough, rock, mm -hmm. fall away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, knees in and out, rocking forward, back, enjoy yourself, have fun, that's nice and good one again. Nice, nice massage. Of course, you fully massage now. Yeah? Nice, well done. Okay, let's drop off the roller and sit. Sit nicely. With legs keep with apart or slightly wider. Yeah, toes out. Nice and tall. Yeah, if you feel like you're sitting on your tailbone, you need something under your bottom so you can sit <coughs> tall. Right, open the legs a bit wider. You open the legs a bit wider. Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, we do it so. So we need a nice long spine. Okay, and if you sit in this position and you feel like you're flattening your lower back and you want to lift your shoulders to the ears, then you need something to put under your bottom. It could be rolling the back, uh, 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 mat, or you can do your clothes, whatever. Right, so we can extend the arms. Yeah, I'm assuming everybody's fine. So nicely lengthen, breathing and lengthen up to the ceiling. And now we twist, and then we're reaching our little finger to pinky and stretching arms and chin down. Oh, that's your position. And then we in, one so, so. And then we go up again, breathing in. And then we exhale, we twist and go stretching. Okay? So what we're thinking about, tailbone always out. Keep it all the flexions in your ankles. Getting back into the seated position. Every time, bring yourself back. Listen, yeah. Get your body in nice alignment. And then go Come in back. You can sew three times, you can sew twice. Very good. Head relaxed, chin to your chest, and stretching your arms away from each other, fingertips away from fingertips. If you feel like your shoulders going up and you're compensating and doing kind of stretch movements like that, right? So that's wrong. So we need to consider to lift your bottom of the floor. Okay? That's why I'm not sitting for the floor. And then you want to place your arm on the floor. Wow. Oh, that's it, yeah. So we keep in that stretch. Elbow away from your heels. Well done. Excellent, fantastic. 
Nice to be so nice and stretch now. Okay, so we're ready to do our rollover. Okay, so let's bring the roller between our feet and our knees. New base. Uh, yes, we can do our best. Yeah, we go with a nice and easy option. First, we lie down again on our back. But before you lie down, I want you to watch sun. Okay, if you didn't do it before, and if you're not sure what we're going to do, we watch in sun. So we go down, baby. Right, and then you place the roll under the lower back. Actually, I can do the roller now. <laughs> yeah. So we need our arms on the roller, right? Arms on the roller, you're going to press through your arms. So let's leave the legs 45 degrees extended, right? Inhale, press your hands and take your legs as much as you can closer to your chest, pushing, taking the hips of the roller. Stand there and then breathing out, slowly legs out and into 45 degrees, okay? Can we do this? I bet you can. Right, so ideally, you can bring yourself all the way, then try, yeah. But if you have scoliosis, or osteoporosis, right hand shoulder is problem, so you're not doing this one. Okay? Just in case. You're not doing this one. So there is seven bridges, for example, okay? Can you try to fall in the bottom of the shoulder bridge? Okay, right, so we did that way. Right now, just uh, stop for a moment. Okay, let's change the roll. The roller should be in the right position because it might be gone. Flatten our ribs. Keep your arms on the, on the roller. Now, I want you to open your legs 45. we out, right? Point dorsal flexion. Right, so we inhale, we are pressing through your hands and taking your bottom of the roller over your chest, your legs, and then slowly to 45 degrees under control as we breathe in out here. Again, inhale, press and bring them back. Exhale to 45 degrees under control. So you really feel that core engagement as your legs go back into alignment. Very good, fantastic, excellent. Now, one more time. Inhale and exhale, Fab. right. So let's open the floor. Yeah, grab your band. If you need my help, I don't want you to stand up. Keep your roller under your bottom. Or you can do it without the roller. You can stretch, you can stretch your hands so you can do the roller. It's more effective on the roller. And don't let it touch you. You can do it without the roller. You can do it without the roller. Okay. What's the key we have? Oh, nice. What's right. right. So give me just no rebels here. So left foot on the floor facing forward. Okay. Right, so you're in the right alignment on the roll. Fantastic. Well done. So right leg lifted. What, yeah, you're holding your one, one hand well, like this, right? So you keep your hands closer. In one, in one, in one. Don't open it. Just go in one. You're more in control. Shoulders away from the ears, ribs flat. Yeah, pelvis heavy on the floor. Let this leg to go parallel to the floor. Stay here for a moment. Without moving the roller, roll on your tailbone. So you're squeezing the roller with your tailbone and your dorsiflex to ankle. Now use your hands and use your core to lift this leg. Slide yeah, as much as you can until you feel unbearable stretch. <laughs> yeah, from the hip to the heel. And then you stop, take your breath in. Next out your breath. Again, pulling your tailbone right to the floor, heel to the ceiling. Feeling your, don't overlock your knee, that's not necessary. But you have to feel a bit achy, shaking, 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 shaking. Again, inhale, you can relax your tailbone. And then when you exhale and you're pushing the tailbone to the floor, yeah, and heel to the ceiling. So you're creating an opposition, yeah, to get a better stretch in the back of the leg, you're creating an opposition. Tailbone to the floor, heel to the ceiling. You go four breaths like this, okay? Four breaths. 
Okay, so when we did the four, then we uh, place in your left leg next to your right one, left foot next to your right one, right foot going on the floor to relax, make sure it's facing forward so that your right knee faces forward, is light. Okay, now let's lower this left leg down, parallel to the floor. Let's get in the right alignment. Make sure your roll is right. Yeah, so now squeeze the roller with your bottom. Yeah, put, yes, the slide elbow to the floor, heel away, dorsiflexion, and start to lift. Use your hands, use your arms to lift as much as we can. And when you feel the stretch between the tailbone and the heel, you stop and shallow in the breast, relax. And then slowly, slowly, with your eyes closed, with visualization, with observation, slowly breathing out into the stretch from the elbow to the heel. You should feel shaky in your leg. Okay? If you engage in, if you do the right engagement, you will be shaking. Okay? So we go for four, for four out breaths like this. Well done. Then we're going to place... Yeah, you're not thinking on your right leg, are you? Yeah, good. Okay, and then we are finishing. We place in the roller away. Take, you lift in the bottom, push in the roller away. Resist and bend on the side. Keep lying on our back. Okay, let's extend your left leg forward. Lift your right leg up. Hold it below your knee with your hands. Okay, as much as you can, clasp it in your shoulders on the floor of your chair, and you hang on the floor. Now, ballerinas, pointing the toes to the ceiling. You don't need to overlock your knees, could be soft. So we do in the moment, as we're breathing in, we're gently bringing that leg into your chest. As we breathe out, we keep pushing your leg towards your chest, but you compress, you pressing, pressing the leg against your hand. So go and inhale, and then exhale. Inhale, exhale. Keep it trying to lie closer to your tailbone. So we're keeping the neutral spine, lower back curve. Right? So we're not flattening your lower back. Keep reaching tailbone to the floor and you go for eight of those. Inhale, slide it towards your chest, still in the stretch. Exhale, push, push. Inhale, pull. Exhale, push, push. We have the cramp. Massage the half well done well. <laughs> yeah, you've been overstretching a little bit. Lovely, well done. And then we're changing the legs, okay guys? <clears throat> Lifting your left foot, right on the floor, extend it. Again, just check if your ribs slide, if your neck is long, is your shoulders away, are the shoulders away from the ears, pointing your toes to the ceiling and start again. Yeah. Pull and then push, push. Inhale, shallow breath in, leg go into the stretch, exhale into resistance. And then next time is increasing the stretch, and then again into the resistance. We go for eight. We're all doing totally amazing. Lovely. Good job. Okay. So when we did eight, we exchange in the legs again. We're lifting your right leg up. If you have any hips problems, you may want to have a band over your foot. Okay, and then we are circling. So arms relaxed on the side. Yeah, we imagine the two champagne glasses on your hips. And you start the rotation, you're breathing in your right leg on towards your face and to the left. And then with your mouth open, you breathe out and you finish the circle. You circling, imagine we draw in a circle on the ceiling with your toes. And then you keep champagne glasses on your hips. So you don't want to spill that champagne. We're going five times each direction. Inhale to start the circle. Finish. Pelvis staying very stable. We're all working on stability of our pelvis. It wouldn't help if you're not breathing properly. Okay? So no wobbly pelvis. Five times one direction, five times opposite way. And the exchange in the leg. Okay? Good. Again, pointing your toes to the ceiling, ballerinas. And we start again. We lie on your tailbone. Roll on your tailbone before you start your circle. Okay? Don't lift your tailbone up. 
your movement could be really, really small. All you need to think about, especially as you're new big, alignment, ribs flat and heavy, pelvis flat and heavy, not everything is quiet. Yeah, circle could be really small, but really controlling with the breathing. Inhale to start, and through the whole circle, you're breathing out through your mouth, feeling the engagement below your belly button five times each direction. And then you can bring your both knees towards your chest, roll yourself in the liquor ball, and relax. Rock side to side, forward, back, whatever feels nice. Lovely. And then we line on our tummy. After that little rest, we line on our tummy. Then strengthen our back a little bit. Okay. So let's line the tummy face and me so I can see your lovely faces. And then you're going to hide your faces from me because they're going to look on the floor. Okay. Sam, we're already on the tummy, everybody. Model. It's half past. Time. Time, time, time. Time, time pressure. Always a time pressure. Okay. Lie on the tummy and your hands next to your shoulders. Okay. Legs extended. Right. So just lie flat. Lie flat. Take a couple of breaths. Shuffle your bottom side to side. Release any tension in your lower back. Now slide your shoulders away from the ears. Create an alone line, tailbone crown. Right? And I want you to keep your hands light on the floor. As we inhale, push the pelvis down, engage the core, belly button up, and lift your chest off the floor, lengthen it through the top of your crown. Well done. Yeah, if you want to do this, you need something under your lower back. Yeah. You can put something on the Спину с ног взять, только слишком большой, тебе надо это положить. Okay, well, keep your chin in, so you lengthen it out to the wall in front of you with your crown. Okay? Mm -hmm. Right, standing. Well, 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 Now we're going to try to take our hands with us, okay? So then exactly the same. We inhale, we're having a little rest. We exhale and we lift it. Keep pulling your chin in, lengthen through the top of your crown, chest off the floor. Well done. Don't lift your chin up. Don't try to achieve the bigger moment. Think in long instead of high. Okay? Don't think high. Think long. Lengthen. Well done. Yeah, just feel your back nicely strengthening. Very good. Yes, give me three more, please. Okay? Very good. Yeah, and from after the third one, yeah, place your hands on the floor, press to them and get into the sphinx position. Right, and then we can relax our bottom, shuffle it. Yeah, relax now back. So now maybe you can do what you want. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just Christine. <laughs> Everybody, it's Christine. Okay, she can do what she wants now because it's not very particular help in care problems. Right, so we are from here. Right, so new base, you can just simply lie here and relax your lower back, do nothing. Maybe that's enough for you for today. But we are trying to get the seesaw a little bit, right? So we are yeah, inhaling and lengthening it, and we're going to straighten the leg forward. And as we exhale, we're going to slightly like chest down, legs up, and come back. Okay? Just like this, and come back. Just little rock, tiny, tiny little rock. So be in control. So your legs are lifting it, and then... Down. So you have a little movement like this. Well done, just small. Yeah, try. Yeah, we try not to bash the face on the floor. Yeah, so don't, don't let the floor to come too close. That's your level. Well done, very good. Okay. Now we can progress into the cobra stretch. Newbies, if you want to, you can do the same and just stay there. Yeah, nice. Oh, nice long spine. You can relax for a moment and then we breathe in out. We're gonna get this. Yeah, off the floor, and we're going to lay yourself chest down, legs up, and come back. Very good. Well done. Back and come back. So, yeah, if yeah, make sure you're coming back. <laughs> right? 
But if you feel like, oh yes, I have feel away, and my body is actually rocking, so we can do one, two, three, four, five rocks, five times, up to, up to eight times. Or you just can simply lie in and go with that stretch. Yeah, just lie in there and go with that stretch. Very good. Lovely. Shoulders down. The young but you show. Oh, very nice. Good. Yeah, everybody doing their own things. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, right, so we're going to practice two more very quickly. Again, your base, you can be completely done sitting, drinking water, or you can try what we do. This very advanced exercise is going on now. Let me sit, you know. <laughs> Yeah, right. Sitting up again. Sitting up with the roller. Waistline. Waistline. Okay? Yeah. Just just for your waistline. Sitting curling in. Curling in. Yeah? Yeah, curling in. Against the roller. Against the roller. Again the roller. Just where is your waistline? Not too not too high. Curling in. Well done. That's it. Fantastic. So from here, I want you to extend your arms and reach them where it's still in the oh, wall. No, not your legs, just your arms. Oh, shoulders down, open the chest, reach in. Right, so now we inhale. As you exhale, I want you to extend your legs and reach and disconnect yourself of the roller. Stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. Well done, sit back, relax. Well done. Okay, mm -hmm. let's go a couple more times. Right, so we're stretching your arms, getting ready, breathing in. As you breathe out, core engage, extend your legs and follow them. Just disconnect uh, from the roller. Fantastic, fantastic. And sit back, relax, hold well on. Let's get the roller slightly higher. Bottom edge of the shoulder blades. Okay, go again, curling in. Right, so this time extend your arms and try to, before you start to follow your legs, roll on your lower back and then you go. That's it. Disconnect. Just disconnect. Stay, 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 stay. And sit back. Well done. Well done. Good job. Now we carry on doing a couple of more times like this, or you can take the roller completely off. Challenge yourself without the roller. Okay? Can we do this? Right? Come on, let's go down. You can do. Right, so from here, if we go out from the floor, you need to... No, 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 that's too much. No, well done. Yeah, so I think we can do it, find the easier way for you, shall we? Uh -huh. Yeah, so we get it from here, and then extend the arms, and then the first thing is you lift in your head, neck, and shoulders, and you roll on your lower back, and then when you're ready, you're breathing out, and you're stretching, and you go there. Is it? <laughs> you can't push me. I have to, I have to find that. I just use a little bit of fingertip, that's it. I know, but it's... You keep trying. I need to find that. Well done. And then you keep seated and stretching, right? So from here, you're not just sit. Down and relax. Lovely. Well done. Okay? Oh. So we did teaser. Oh. Amazing. Wow. Right? We have another 10 months, as I said. 10 months to nail it. And then last things we're going to try very quickly is open leg rock. I know the time is gone, but we can keep trying. Let's sit up again. Sit up again. Lift your legs up and grab behind your thighs. Okay? So now one nice long spine. New base, you might miss on it, or you might try whatever you can do. So we are breathing in, and we're going back until mm -hmm. that level. Mm -hmm. And then us, and you think it breathes out, and when you breathe out, you're already coming back. Okay? Coming, inhale, exhale, come back. Well done. Okay. Just like this. Keep rocking. Yeah? Well done. So make sure you breathe in, not just rocking. You got, uh, you can make it loud. Good. And then you see, well done. Nice. So now we're trying on Brian's way. Okay? So you can extend the legs and we do exactly the same. Inhale, exhale, come back. And sit, 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 let's sit, let's sit through your spine. Well done. That's it. Keep trying. Keep trying. Yes. <laughs> well done. Yeah, so that's your homework. <laughs> now we can see and relax. We're done. So feet oh. together. Just yeah? Put together on your thighs, have a little less. Well done. Fantastic. Which I'm so proud we can do. It's also level. And we can well and do it perfectly. Yeah, it was so fun, isn't it? Okay? Are we ready? Yeah? Right, you look very bright. It looks like I did 
work you rather than <laughs> but it was a downward dog but like we do we just push up nail this position elbow to the ceiling knees could be so it's easy for some she has no problem with with the hamstrings but elbow up heels to the floor knees could be soft heels could be off the floor that's fine Weight lifting it between feet and hands. Chest wants to reach to your thighs. Shoulders want to reach to your pelvis. Head completely relaxed. Okay, and then your choice. You can walk your feet towards your hands or walk your hands towards your feet. Keep in looking at your tummy. And then when you get closer, then you relax your neck. Take your breaths in and out your breaths. We are rolling. Weight to break by weight to break. Lower back, middle back, upper back. Keep looking down. When your chest lift, the shoulders gone in the pocket, then you rebuild your neck. Okay. Then you can say, well done, me and everybody. <laughs> well done, everyone. Yeah, give us a round of applause. Oh, really fast. Amazing, Shannon. Well done. Shannon there. And nailed it all. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> Have a lovely weekend, guys. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Is anybody back? Susan, you here. Missing you. Sue. You come in on Monday. Yeah, hopefully she will. Yes, I'll see you on Monday. Yes, brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. See you Monday. See you. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.